Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. We've been going through some storage and trying to make room for more wood. We brought in a lot more wood here recently. We need more room for it. So we're going through our storage, getting rid of things we don't need. And we ran upon some stuff we had left over from back when we used to own a restaurant. As you can see here, we have some really pretty white mugs. I love mugs. I'll tell most people I really don't collect anything, but that's not really true because I really do love mugs. There's something just so nice thinking about sipping a hot drink, but I have way too many mugs in the house already and I have nowhere to put these. So today we're going to make a nice mug rack to display these and remember all the good times we had at the restaurant. When we ran across these dishes in our storage, we decided to clean them up and give them away to people we know and we figured we would keep a little souvenir for ourselves. During our trips to hunt for pallets, we found this really cool 2x2 two two piece of walnut. So we're going to use this as part of the mug tree, and we've also got a 2x10 that we'll use for the base. Let's go ahead and get to work. All right, we are going to plane this post, but before we run it through the planer, we're going to get a nice clean edge on here, cut off about 13 inches, run it through the planer, and then we'll probably come back over to the miter saw and make sure that the ends are good and square. All right, now we're gonna take our walnut post and run it through the planer on all four sides. It's got a pretty good bow in it. I think we can get this out without any kind of planer sled or anything. Now that our piece of walnut is all nice and smooth, most of that twist has been taken out of it, we're just going to flush the end again and cut this down to 12 inches. All right, now it's time to cut the piece of wood we're going to use for the base of our mug tree. And this is what you call some scrap wood. It's been in here since the building was built 18 years ago. So it's finally getting put to use. I'm going to square off the edge of this and we'll cut it to 8 inches. Now in order to hang our mugs to this center post, we're going to be using 3 8 inch dowels. Now instead of having them go straight out like this, we think it would be better to put them in at like a 20 degree angle. So I'm going to make a homemade jig to do this that way we get our angles the same every time and centered on the post in every location. Okay, so I've cut this little piece of scrap wood off at a 20 degree angle. I'm going to use a face clamp and clamp it to this board. And then clamp this board to the bench. That way we can get our hole drilled in the jig. Alright, there's going to be four dowels total in this post. Two will be six inches up from the bottom, the other two ten inches up from the bottom, and they'll be on opposite sides. I've got a flag on my drill bit here, so I know when to stop without going too far into the post. Well, that's one. All right, we're going to fancy our base up just a little bit by putting a 45 degree bevel all the way around it. All right, before we get started with the sanding, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill a pilot hole in the countersink in the bottom of this for the screw that's going to hold the post to the base. Alright, before we assemble this and finish it, we're just going to hit this. I want to do some 220 um, and we're going to stain the post and we're going to paint the cap and the base with just some white paint, give it that farmhouse look. So let's go ahead and get this knocked out. <laughs> We've got 
all of our pieces cut out. As you can see, we just cut um, some pieces of dowel. These are three and a half inches long, and you can get those in the craft section of any store. Um, but we're ready. We're ready to put this mug tree together. So let's get some wood glue and get started. All right, we're going to start the process by gluing this top cap onto the post first. We'll have to let that set just a little bit and get tacky. Then we can move on from there. Now you have to remember when you're gluing end grain, it does soak up a lot of glue. I know we're going to get some squeeze out here, but you got to use quite a bit. All right, we've let our post set up with this cap for just a little bit to let that glue set. And so now we are going to attach the base to the post. Now I did go ahead and pre-drill this walnut just to make sure it don't split. The last step before we finish our mug tree is to glue in these three and a half inch dowels. Time to finish our mug tree. I'm so excited. We are going to use a similar method um, as the wooden lamp we built. So if you haven't checked that video out, be sure to scroll around our channel and find that. But what we're going to do is give this kind of a farmhouse look. So we're going to stain the post and the dowels, and then we're going to paint the base and the post cap white. So let's get started. And we are using one of our very favorite things. This is uh, Watco Danish Oil. This walnut is going to sparkle. For the finishing touch, we're just going to paint the base and the post cap with this white paint. It's really going to make that walnut pop. And now the mugs from our former restaurant have a place to be displayed. This is such a special piece. It carries so many great memories. And now just the process of constructing and designing this particular mug tree, um, it's just going to be a really special piece altogether. And it's made from reclaimed wood. What could be better than that? The center post of this we made from a piece of walnut that we found while we were looking for some pallets. They had some little two by two pieces of walnut just laying there. That was a good find. Then we had some scrap wood laying around here for the base and the top cap. And these little dowels, I think they come in like 12 inch sections. They're 3 8 inch dowels. You can get those at any, pretty much any big store. If you enjoyed this project, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Never miss an episode of Wood Songs by Russell. We're also on Facebook, and we have a website, www.woodsongsbyrussell.com. Thanks again for joining us today. Happy woodworking!